morning friends today we will be discussing the topic of uh, biostatics from the textbook of park in this video i will be talking about the measures of central tendency the measures of variability types of distribution and variables and scales the rest of the topics will come in another video so what are the central tendencies mean median quantile percentile and mode so so mean is the sum total of the different samples divided by the number of such samples median is the middle value mode is the most commonly occurring sample what is outlier suppose i give you different numbers like 1 2 3 and 99 so which is the outlier 99 because it is totally different so outlier maximum affects which one mean it is le least affects mode so most preferred in medical studies is median mode is of two types unimodal or bimodal in case of bimodal just uh, find use this formula mode equal to 3 median minus 2 mean in case of unimodal find out the most commonly occurring sample and that is uh, the mode in case of what is quartile quartile is basically when you divide the whole data into four parts uh, and that is called quartile each part is called a quartile and the dividing points are called intercepts quartile is basically one third second quartile is basically half third quartile is basically three by fourth what is percentile percentile is basically by dividing the entire data into 100 parts and then using one of the um, different parts so when i say third percentile is i am basically saying that i'm dividing the entire data into three parts and using one out of the uh, 100 was n equal to 250 then what is the 40th percentile of 250 40 by 100 into 250 that is 100 now i give you a set of nine numbers 8 2 6 1 4 2 9 2 5 so what is the mean i'll add the different numbers and divide by 9 what is the mode 2 because it's occurring size and median i'm arranging the different numbers in ascending order and the middle one is 4 so that is the median Next is the different measures of dispersion or variability. What are these range, standard deviation, standard error, coefficient of variance, and z-score? What is range? Difference between the minimum and maximum value that is range generally not used. Standard deviation, standard deviation is the square root of variance. It is the most uh, commonly used measure of dispersion. This is how to find out standard deviation. Suppose I give you the different numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. You find the mean, then you subtract it from the mean, then you square it, and then divide it by the total number of variables, and then find the square root. That is standard deviation. How do you interpret it? If standard deviation is small, it is good. If it is large, it is bad. And standard deviation is for sample. And population, so standard error. Next is coefficient of variance. Coefficient of variance is standard deviation by mean into 100. Coefficient of variance is unit free. Another topic which I have to touch is standard error. Standard error is uh, standard error mean equal to standard deviation by root n. And if n is get less than 30, then standard, devi standard error is standard deviation by root n minus 1. I will be doing a separate video on standard error, so keep an eye on that. And also remember the standard deviation is for the sample whereas standard error is for the whole population. Standard error is also used to calculate confidence interval. What is confidence interval? It is mean plus standard error. That is confidence interval. Here comes the topic of z-score. Z-score is also called standard normal deviate. It is used for normal distribution. Z-score is equal to x minus x dash by standard deviation. That is z-score is equal to the value of the variable minus the mean by standard deviation. So thus far we have finished the two topics of measures of central tendency and measures of variability. Next comes the topic of types of distribution. So types of distribution as we know comes of um, can be divided into three types uh, normal, skewed and Poisson. What is normal distribution? Normal distribution is also called Gaussian or standard deviation. The curve we can see the curve is bell shaped. It is symmetrical and mean equal to median equal to mode and the two tails on each side they touch infinity and never touch the baseline. So in a standard normal curve mean equal to median equal to mode equal to 0 standard deviation is equal to 1 variance equal to standard deviation square equal to 1 so mean plus 1 standard deviation equal to 68 percent mean plus 2 standard deviation equal to 95 percent mean plus 3 standard deviation comes at 99 percent next just think if mean plus 1 standard deviation is equal to 68 percent then on one side mean plus 1 standard deviation is 34 percent so what is left outside what is left outside is 50 minus 34 equal to 16 percent that is on one on either side so what we can see is mean plus one standard deviation area left is 32 percent mean plus two standard deviation area left is five percent mean plus three standard deviation area left is one percent what i told you is for both sides now if i consider only one side then mean plus one standard deviation is 60 is 32 by 2 that is 16 percent mean plus two standard deviation is 5 by 2 that is 2.5 percent mean plus three standard deviation is 1 by 2 that is 0.5 percent next comes the concept of skewed distribution in standard normal distribution we know that mean equal to median equal to mode but in right skew what happens is mean greater than median greater than mode and in left skew what happens is mode greater than median greater than mean so how do we un understand in right skew the tail is towards the right whereas in left skew the tail is towards the left that is how we will understand
right skew large number of people will have values in the lower range whereas in left skew large number of people will have values in the higher range that's it friends thank you for watching and please do not forget to like and subscribe the channel if you like the video thank you